how do you get around the 90 day Airbnb rule in London? And because of this rule, is Airbnb and service accommodation even doable in London? Well, that's what I'm gonna be breaking down deep in this video right here. But the short and sweet answer to that is yes, Airbnb and service accommodation is 100% still doable for you to do it full time, not just part time completely legally in London. So trust me, do not get put off in London. I know a lot of people that are put off in London because of this rule, especially people that actually live in London. If they're looking to get started off with this, they're always looking outside of London because of this rule. I first thought about that when I first started out, but trust me when I tell you, there's different ways to go about it. So look, the first way that you can get around the 90 day Airbnb rule itself is if you're focusing on targeting midterm stays as well as short term stays as well. Let's say for example, you get someone booking your place for 20 nights on Airbnb. Okay, cool. So they booked your place and now, that 20 nights is deducted from the 90 days allowance. So that means you have 70 nights that you can let your place out on a short let throughout the year. But let's say on the other note now, I come to you and I want to book your place for, let's say 95 nights. Well, because it's over the 90 days, that's no longer considered a short let, you know, so that doesn't affect the 90 day rule. Now we're looking at more midterm let. So that's one very, very good way for you to get around the 90 day rule is by focusing on targeting people that are looking to book midterm stays. With midterm stays, this is anywhere between 90 days to 180 days or to keep it simple between three to six months now look you may be thinking that all sounds good that all sounds well but how am i even going to find these types of people that are wanting to book for that sort of duration most people are booking Airbnbs and service accommodation for one or two nights. Like what sorts of people are booking places for, you know, over 90 days or maybe even longer. Trust me when I say there are many, many different people that are looking to book properties for over 90 days for a variety of different reasons. So look, I'll give you an example. When I was heavily involved in service accommodation, rent to rent in London, I had mainly, you know, properties in the Canary Wharf area and also the central London area as well. Now, a big part of who I was focusing on targeting, especially in Canary Wharf, were the corporate work. You know, these were people traveling to the area for work trips and business. I mean, it's pretty obvious, obviously, Canary Wharf, the financial hub of the UK. You have big banks, big corporate companies like, you know, HSBC, Barclays, JP Morgan, etc., etc. So with me at that time, I wasn't taking on bookings that were anything less than a month. I wasn't taking on more bookings that were less than a month. And I can tell you for free that those places did very, very well. I get people booking my place for months at a time, even at times close to four, even five months. Because you've got to think about it, guys. When these types of people are looking to book places for that sort of period, let's say three or four months, they can't just go to landlords or to estate agents to find properties easy to rent. Because look, think about it like this. These people that I'm talking to you about right now, they can't just go to estate agents and landlords to rent their properties from them. And the reason why is because minimum amount of time that anybody can rent from a landlord or estate agent usually is six months. And this is a normal AST contract. So because these people can't go to landlords or estate agents to get properties, is from them they obviously have to go elsewhere and the other option is to book service accommodation properties. that is the most ideal option for those individuals and that's why there's many people booking those types of properties you also have uh, contractors or construction workers that's another very good group of people to target who tend to book more long term I had one of my clients he has um, a few properties in Kent and for one of his properties he'd actually received a booking from a group of contractors that was around 45 weeks that's basically close to a year so these groups of individuals are very very good to target because again Again, they tend to book more long term. But not only that, you've got you know families that may want to book long term as well. This could be for a variety of different reasons. Usually it's because you know their place, the house that they're living in, or the house that they're moving into is undergoing a refurbishment. In the meantime, they need a place to stay until their place is complete. Or maybe you're getting someone that's just coming to the country completely fresh. They're looking for a place to stay. They're looking to either rent a place long term or even buy their own place. But in the meantime, they need a place to rent short term. And of course, service accommodation is an ideal scenario. And trust me look i can go on and on about the different types of people that would book service accommodation properties long term and there's many of them but if we're keeping it simple let's keep it very very simple do you honestly think that the only types of people that are looking to, for properties to rent are people that are looking for a place to live in for at least six months well no that's actually pretty obvious we, we should know that there's people out there that are looking for places to stay for three months for four months for two months for one month but these places these people need to be accommodated and they can't go to estate agents or landlords so they go to they come to us they come to the service accommodation operators and the thing is a lot of people when it comes to people that are involved in service accommodation the airbnbs um a lot of them don't actually focus on that market most people actually involved in this game are actually focusing on the short-term rental market as in you know renting out their properties for one or two nights now look don't get me wrong you can do very well from that and make very good money from that but not that many people are paying attention to targeting the midterm let market even though there's massive demand on that side and by the way it's a lot less work as well because you know if you're renting your place out for two nights at a time you're constantly getting and new people coming in there so that requires constant changeovers constant cleans you know communication back and forth with different
different guests, etc., etc. Whereas if you have one person booking your place for a month, that is super chill. That is easy money right there. In most instances, you're not really gonna have to be dealing with that person back and forth throughout that whole time. And that makes your life a lot, lot easier. So look, I went off on a bit of a tangent there. I know that, but um, I just wanted to really give you an insight of how you can go about targeting these people and why there's a lot of people out there that will, that will definitely book long-term for service accommodation properties. Now look, the other way that you can get around the 90 day Airbnb rule in London is by focusing on getting more direct bookings. Let's say for example, you have a property in London and you have it on Airbnb and booking.com or whatever. Let's say now I come to you, I wanna book your property. I wanna book your property for 30 days, but I wanna book with you directly. I'm not booking on Airbnb or booking.com, but I'm booking with you directly. Well, guess what? Because I'm coming to you directly, that's not gonna be on record. And because of that, it's not gonna have an effect on the 90 day rule. And a very good way for you to go about attracting these types of people more direct to you is by using these platforms such as Airbnb and Booking.com. You know, if people are looking to book more long term, they're going to reach out to you first. They're not going to book your property straight away. They're going to reach out to you, ask a few questions, etc, etc. And by them doing that, you can get them to book with you directly in exchange for a discount for them. You know, if you're giving them a 10% discount and they need to pay £3,000 to book your place for a month, let's say, you know, that's a 10% discount and they could be saving £300. That's a decent amount of savings right there. And also there's platforms that you can use to go about attracting more long term bookings, platforms like Homelike, uh, Seiko, Silverdor, Situ, Open Rent, Google Listing, amongst a few other platforms as well. But there are definitely platforms that you can list your property on, again, to target more long-term bookings. So that's another way you can get around the 90-day Airbnb rule. Another way that people choose to do to get around the 90-day Airbnb rule. Now look, I'm not personally recommending this. I'm just letting you know that this is what people do. A lot of people, not just a few people, but a lot. And what they tend to do is they'll upload their property to let's say Airbnb. And then once they hit the 90-day limit, that's when they re-upload another property again. They basically re-upload the same property twice or maybe even more times. So that's how a lot of other people are doing it many many people are doing it that way and that's how they choose to get around the 90 day airbnb rule so obviously that's more of a little bit taking the unethical route you shouldn't really be doing that but people do do that and from what i've seen it's not really a problem like that for a lot of people that are choosing to do that but again if you're following the other steps that i mentioned before honestly you wouldn't even really need to do that me myself when i was doing this i wasn't focusing on you know targeting these short-term bookings i was more focused on doing the long-term bookings so that i don't i wouldn't have an issue whatsoever so i just wanted to come on here share that with you really break it down to give you a much better insight and a much better understanding of how you can get around the 90 day airbnb rule in london if you're taking value from that i'd appreciate if you hit that like button again if you're looking to get started off with your service combination rent to rent journey this is the channel to be at i'm putting content out there on a weekly basis so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button so look without further ado i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna let you do your thing thank you for taking the time to tune in i'm gonna catch you in the next one